Hello, welcome to today's Sunday interview. I'm uh, your host, uh, Franklin Tembo Jr. Today we're paying attention to the Ministry of Works and Supply. It is responsible for some of the major functions of government, including dealing with uh, the control of government transport, evaluation of government property, government printing and gazetting, and government fleet management, to mention but a few. Is the ministry as effective as it should be? To answer this and more questions, we're privileged to have Honorable Mutotwe Kafwaya, who is at the helm of the ministry and also serves as a Lunte Member of Parliament. And uh, we hope that at the end of uh, the day we'll have learned what uh, the ministry is really doing to change the status quo. Honorable, thank you for coming to Sunday interview. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Let's start off by um, just getting, in a general sense, you're a new man on the job, maybe uh, getting old uh, in, the, in, in the process, yeah. but uh, how, how do you describe what, you're, what you found at the ministry? Uh, well, th thank you very much. Uh, very important question that to begin with. Uh, I think that uh, the situation is normal. I found a normal situation. It's um, a, a, government, a government operation, which is normal with procedures, with uh, processes, with policies. Uh, some of them we need to develop. Um, and, and, and with uh, well resourced, I must say, in terms of the human resource, the human structure, and all of that. We, uh, we, we are trying to do a bit to improve, because a normal situation needs to improve, doesn't it? And we, we have to find opportunities to improve the ministry so that the space and the time we've been given to operate, uh, we are able to, uh, to account for our time you know, reasonably. Mm. So I, I think we are trying to do what we can. Um, His Excellency has privileged me to serve at the helm of the ministry. Uh, and I think that uh, I've been unequivocal, I've been very clear about what we want to achieve. Uh, we want to be counted as people who were privileged to serve the Zambian people in a dignified manner. And to do that, we need to streamline a few things, we need to improve certain things, uh, and also continue some of the things that have been there. What do you attribute um, shortcomings that are in the public domain to from your experience as minister in the ministry? Well, I, I think that um, there, there are issues of policy lags, um, policy lags at formation, uh, even at application, I think that there are internal control problems. Um, uh, the Auditor General's report would review that. Uh, and I think there are, there are cultural issues. It's a number of issues that need to be looked at uh, with detail. Um, uh, and there are political issues. <laughs> mm. so sometimes it's political issues that cause us uh, you know, problems. Um, but these are the problems for which uh, we are privileged to uh, actually preside over and be able to overcome. With the, uh, with the, with, with the creation of um, or the um, uh, establishment of uh, the Ministry of, uh, uh, of Infrastructure, yes. there are many who feel that the Ministry of Works and Supply has become dormant. Yeah. Is that a true picture? Well, it, I think it's a justifiable feeling <laughs> for many because the the, the people saw the Minister of Works and Supply as it was, and they see it as it is. The creation of not only the Minister of uh, uh, Housing and Infrastructure Development, but also uh, Transport and Communication, both of those came out of Works and Supply. Now, the ministries need to be refined in order to bring efficiency. Uh, I think the mandate as it sits for the Ministry of Works and Supply is a huge mandate. Uh, the question is, is the ministry handling that mandate as it is sitting? That is a problem for me, and uh, that is a problem I have to resolve. If we are going to do all of the things that we have to do according to our mandate, we still remain a very, very huge In, 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 in a short sense, what is that, what is that mandate? Well, uh, you, uh, some of the things you made reference to, uh, and I think the most significant, the flagship mandate of the Minister of Works and Supply is actually uh, maintenance of public assets. Now, there isn't any other ministry which has that mandate. 
all of the maintenance of public assets in whatever form, in whatever sector, is supposed to be uh, handled by the Minister of Works and Supply. Just take that one alone. It's a huge, huge responsibility. Now, you have to add uh, the motor vehicles, uh, you know, public motor vehicles. You've got to add the printing department. You've got to add horticultural services. Bring in government valuation services. So it, it's, it's massive. But we have to uh, put resources together. We have to uh, convince uh, our, some of our colleagues who may be doing uh, some of our work to consolidate in the ministry. This is, you know, some of the things we, we will be doing over, you know, the foreseeable future so that we can claim uh, our mandate and be able to contribute effectively uh, to bettering the lives of the Zambian people. Let's, let's, let's uh, uh, zero in, uh, since you mentioned it, the abuse you know, the, the, the management of uh, government vehicles, yeah. but let's talk about the abuse yeah. of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of government vehicles. In yeah. fact, you are on record having impounded uh, two vehicles uh, yeah. driven by Chinese uh, medical personnel attached at Levi Mwanawasa yeah. Hospital, yeah. Um, driving it without necessary, uh, uh, you know, permits. Um, is that just a, a tip of, how big is this problem? And just how are you, how are you tackling this? Uh, thank you very much. Um, y yes, y yes, I am on record for having done that, uh, but the, the Chinese uh, medical personnel who we impounded are not the only ones we have impounded. We have impounded drivers, we have impounded directors, we have impounded assistant directors, managers, uh, council chairmen, uh, council secretaries. We, we, we have found quite a number of people abusing public transport. Um, I, I, I tend to think the issue about the two Chinese comes out prominent, uh, fairly because they are, they are not Zambian, isn't it? Um, for me and my team, when we're on the road trying to enforce our regulations, we are looking at compliance to the internal controls that we have established ourselves. Um, it, it doesn't uh, really pay for us to keep on you know, instituting internal controls which can't be adhered to. And so whoever we find who has not uh, complied with our internal controls uh, needs to be treated the same way, regardless of whether they are Zambian or they are non-Zambian, but with, uh, uh, you know, with capacity to drive a, motor vehicle, a Zambian motor vehicle. On, on one radio station I was asked whether it's normal for Chinese to drive a GRZ number. And I said, um, I think it is because a Chinese who is rendering public service should not be discriminated against. A European who is working in our country and giving us a service must not be discriminated. But when we give them our property to use, it must be used in line with the procedures, the policies and procedures that we have instituted. So the issue there was not that they are Chinese. The issue was that they lacked what they needed to have to authorize them to be able to use uh, those vehicles. Uh, how big is this a problem? Yes. Uh, every time we have gone out uh, to monitor, we have found some people abusing. So it is a big problem. Um, my message has always been very clear. I've always said these resources are not for us, public servants. These are resources for the Zambian people. Uh, look, the Zambian people are the ones who pay the taxes the taxes that we use to buy these resources in order for us to use the resources in saving the Zambian people. So they are not for self-service. And this is why we are not choosing. We are not uh, saying this is a director, let's let them go. No, if you are a director, you are directing public service and therefore you are not directing self-service. Surely uh, this is a problem that by now should have been sorted out. Your predecessor did the same. Tried to uh, put in measures, uh, penalties. It's it just seems that um, officers that are continue abusing uh, uh, government vehicles just don't care. I mean, it's, you, whatever measures they're putting in just seem to be some sort of academic uh, exercise or just some, some routine. A and tomorrow there'll be another one abusing, abusing vehicles. Is this just to make yourselves feel, look busy? <laughs> well, I don't know, but I, I, I don't know, but I, I'll tell you that um, many people have been jailed for stealing. Jailed 10 years, some 20 aggravated robbery, it still continues. I'll tell you that 
many people have been cited in the Auditor General's report, some of the people taken to court jailed for corruption. Corruption still continues. But let's talk about so the vehicle. The, the, that's speaking. why I'm coming. That's why I'm coming because the abuse of a motor vehicle, a government motor vehicle, is more like corruption. It's, it's undesirable. Nobody wants it. No matter how much you publicize, there's going to be people who are just attuned to doing a wrong but thing. But shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't the system speak or act on behalf of them? Why should it take a minister to physically play a part in... Well, it's... That, that should say something about how the system is not... Is, is not why should it take you to do this? Well, it's, it, it's not me doing it. It's not, it, don't take me as me. It's, it's my position to safeguard the resources of the Zambian people. It's my interest to go to the ground and see what is happening. We've got officers who do that. But, it, it should, but it I join them. It shouldn't, it shouldn't it, take the minister to do that. No, no, no. It, uh, it, it, let it me be clear. It let me take be. you being, taking a risk of being uh, some physical reaction no, because let, somebody let, feels... Well, <laughs> we are in a team. Um, the other time I went to check on how the pontoon is working in Kazungula, as well as Safwa, as well as Mbesuma in northern province. Uh, should it be me to go? No. But I report to the president. I am working for the president, and I want to know exactly what is on the ground. So if the president asks me, I have detailed information which is accurate. Uh, I'm working for the Zambian people. When the Zambian people uh, uh, give, uh, calls me to account, I need to account shouldn't you appropriately. Shouldn't just be strengthening systems <laughs> instead of being there physically? This is a huge country. People should respect systems Absolutely. rather than individuals. Absolutely. Who creates the systems that I should strengthen? It's not me. I don't draw policies. Policies are drawn by technocrats. Technocrats institute these policy, uh, these uh, internal controls. Now, I have to be interested from the crafting of the policy to ins institution breakdown and also control formation as well as its implementation. That process uh, means that I have to be there everywhere. I, I don't. I'm a field worker. I save the Zambians on behalf of His Excellency the President. So I have to be there. But what time will you do your administrative work if you're going to be chasing vehicles instead of strengthening a system? You're not omnipresent. You can Absol only be absolutely. in one place at one time. Uh, absolutely. Aren't absolutely. you abrogating other duties by being in one place dealing with some person who doesn't respect the law or rules from the ministry? Uh, see, frankly, and even when I choose to stay in the office, I won't be there where the policy is being developed. Even when there are issues on my table that I'm dealing with, I'm not there where other things are happening, which are equally important. The, the loss to the Zambian might not occur in my office. It may occur elsewhere. And it's my role, it's my um, obligation to make sure I get the full understanding of what's going on. Um, a minister like myself is... I'm not restricted to the office. I need to go and check what's happening. I need to, uh, I just have to be informed. But, but aren't you weakening your officers who should be the representative rep of, of, of what is policy okay. or what is law? Aren't you, by being there, aren't you diluting the, those, that are, those that are below you who might be in, a, uh, in some corner in this, in this country and you're in, a, in, an, in another um, by showing that you are the... Um, the savior of this, you know, these misdeeds? Well, I don't think so, uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, I, I don't think that I'm diluting or weakening my officers. Uh, the reason you saw what happened uh, or what has been happening when I'm present is because the media is interested when I'm there. That doesn't mean CGT doesn't conduct their routine work. They do that. They do that. And they do, it in, they do that in my absence. I receive reports of people who've been impounded, uh, uh, who are coming to pay their fines, whose uh, uh, certificate of competence is about to be revoked. I see those things. Mm -hmm. But when I decide to go out in the field, the media gets interested. This is why you might think we are doing this only when I'm not there. No, that's not the point. The accounting function in the ministry is functioning in my absence. But I can get interested in a transaction in finance, and I work there. The, we are doing maintenance uh, everywhere 
okay, we are doing maintenance in numerous uh, properties of government. If I take a step out and I go there, media will follow. So for the fact that I'm followed, I am followed because uh, President Lungu has put me at the helm and uh, the public wants to be clear what I'm doing. No, Even no. in my office, right. uh, the media does come to my office. Uh, ZNBC comes to my office, uh, Prime TV comes to my office to get views, to see what is happening. So, uh, and they don't go to the other officers. Why? It is because they think that uh, when they hear from me, when they see me, uh, they, they, are, they are assessing the police direction. Is, isn't, isn't that the problem though? Is, 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 isn't that where the problem lies? Because if they're going to wait for the minister to go and take action, um, how would the media be interested in the issues themselves? Are you getting hooked to media publicity? Well, why do we say the president of Why do we say that? The president of This issue, we just want to hear the president talk. When you come to the Minister of Works and Supply, I'm Is the you, head. Well, so when there's an issue and I say something, I'm representing the president. When there's an issue and I, 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 I take an interest, what we are saying is that this is the direction we are taking. It's good for the public. It's good for the owners of the resources, the Zambian people. But then you can spend time just making statements and the problem is not going away. Well. Because you're in Lusaka and there's another problem happening in Kitwe or in Mongo or Chipata. And um, you, you have the limelight, but the problem is simply not going, going away. away. I, I hear you. <laughs> we, when we publicize, when we tell people what we are doing, the people in Chengi will have a chance to see it on TV. If CGT and this team, who are not covered, are on the field, they would do a lot of work. The work which I will know about on account of receiving a report, but the other people who may be involved in a similar activities elsewhere won't have a chance to see. And this is why publicity is important. And nobody's arguing show. against publicity. Yeah. It's just the interest of the media, whom you've cited, mm -hmm. should be spread out beyond the minister to follow the issues. That, but that's if, true. If, if between following the minister and those below you, well, they'll probably follow the minister. <laughs> See, frankly, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. ZNBC chose to ask me to come. Why? I'll speak on everything. If you could that my finance director, they will be restricted to speaking to the finance function. If you chose the, my HR director in the ministry, they will be restricted to talk about HR. I am not. I, I'm speaking about everything. Why? Because I, I, it is my responsibility that everything moves well. The, and, and I think this is a reasoning from the media perspective. They are looking for information. They are looking for a source. Uh, who has authority to be able to speak to all situations. That, that, I could be wrong, but that's how I feel. But the media is also looking for answers to a system that will stop this problem. Won't I be able to give the answer? But this problem has been there forever. <laughs> I, I gave you, this is not the only problem that has been there forever. That's true. Let's right, talk about uh, this government vehicle, uh, abuse of government, because it, it does um, rub the public the wrong way. Absolutely. When you see a vehicle parked by a club at night, when you see vehicles carrying charcoal or or some building Sand, material yeah. and things like that, it, it just does not is go that, down. Is well that with the why public. I get interested? Is that why President Lungu gets interested? Is that why all the Zambian people should get interested? I think so. And I don't know at what level I must participate. I think throughout the value system, including up to enforcing the regulation. What, do you think you're going to win this, this, this problem? We have you, to. You, you, you are an accountant by yeah. profession, yeah. and, and you, you, you're tight. You want things in order. You want accountability. Yeah. Um, surely, um, the president says it's, it's, it's nice to work hard, but I remember him saying, but it's better to work smart. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you working smart? Uh, that's my thinking. <laughs> that's my thinking, because we, we, uh, as I said, we are looking at how we can strengthen. Uh, we are looking at how we can develop policies and procedures uh, which we, we enhance our work. That, that's, my, that's my thinking. Uh, we, when we see gaps, we have to plug them by way of uh, making sure that we put in the measures that are addressing the problem. Okay? Uh, we have 
very strong measures when it comes to CGT uh, operations. Uh, there's no question about that. They are very strong. The penalties are stiff. Uh, the procedures are clear. The certification is clear. We, we have all of that. But the thing is that we are dealing with people who are diverse. We are dealing with people who have uh, ideas that may be different from our own. And we need to treat them with a standardized, uh, you know, uh, procedure. And this is what we do. Uh, are we working smart? My thinking is that we are driving towards ensuring that the public service becomes smart. Um, uh, at Cabinet Office, uh, the, the, there's um, the Smart Zambia. Uh, smart, smart Zambia is pushing an agenda of making a, a smart-centered uh, public service. And we in the Ministry of Works and Supply have to tap into that smartness. And we have to make sure that we are a part of the process and be able uh, to, to contribute in that fashion. And, and, we are driving. And, 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 and if that is true, then uh, the public will be looking forward to um, uh, a minister like yourself, generally strong, you know, and young and, um, you know, with a lot of ideas, to be talking about surveillance systems on, 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 on government uh, uh, fleet so that, so that you don't have to be in the sun let, scorched. Where, 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 where is let, that? Let me, let me share with you that we have developed uh, a fleet management policy uh, which is already on the e-cabinet system. Uh, sooner rather than later, it's going to be passed through cabinet. And when we do that, uh, we are coming back to change the whole system. It speaks to all of the technology that we need uh, to begin to implement for us to become smarter. The process at Cabinet Office uh, is a process that we all have to be keen on, and uh, we in the Ministry of Waste and Supply won't remain behind. Are you taking the lead in well, that sense? I just told you, we already have the policy. It's already sitting on the e-cabinet, soon it will be approved. When it is done, uh, we, 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 we will then uh, begin to, to operationalize. Mm. Let's move on to uh, a, a, another matter that is of uh, 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 public concern, and this is uh, the maintenance of government buildings. I don't know whether there's an, another word um, to describe a lot of government buildings yeah. apart from how bad they look, bad outlook. Yeah. What are you doing about that? Why are public uh, government buildings neglected? They just don't add to the, to the, to the, to the status of Lusaka, Kitwe, Ndola, and, 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 and other places um, in the country. Why do they look neglected? Uh, Franklin, that's uh, a very important question, uh, and I would like to I, I would like to handle it this way. Uh, I think it's a cultural issue. Uh, it's a cultural issue, not only on the part of public workers, but also on the part of the public. Uh, and I'll be very specific. Um, I, I, I would want, and I want the public to know that these buildings you see, these assets you see. Uh, which belong to government, actually belongs to the Zambians. Uh, the, the buildings and all assets are there to facilitate service, not to the public workers, but to the Zambian people. And I don't expect any Zambian who is looking for a service uh, on a public building to litter around that area. It's not my expectation that you are going to ignore the filthy, around the building where you draw service. So from that perspective, it becomes a cultural issue. People don't care. But some people won't care anyway, because that's how they are. Then it comes to us, the public servants, when we find carelessness. Shouldn't we take action immediately? We should take action. Because some of the things we need to do are so simple. Just sweep. Just slash. Just paint a line. Those are so simple. Now, should that take, you know, planning at a global level for every house, for every building? I don't think so. So uh, President Lungo has started a program where he goes every month uh, to do some sensitization, to clean, okay? 
that is not a program for the president. That is a program for all Zambians. You, can you imagine, Franklin, if every Zambian on that day dedicates three hours to cleaning, how this country will be in the next uh, three months? It's a very good thought. Um, Everything changes. It, it's just that for many uh, Zambians, they will think that on one hand, government is trying to push for uh, the Keep, clean, uh, keep Zambia Clean uh, campaign green, yeah. or, uh, and green. On the other, it is the same government that is defeating that campaign through unkempt surroundings, broken windows, uh, lifts that don't work, uh, toilets that don't function. And it's all, uh, how, how, how are you functioning in that? And at what speed are you moving to change that picture? See, uh, see, I'm willing to converse around this area, uh, and I'm comfortable to talk about it because I'm Zambian. I've been Zambian since I was born. So the, the thing is that we need to buy into good programs. The program that the president uh, brought about uh, is, has got nothing to do with PF. It's got nothing to do with politics. But will you see every Zambian rally behind this and be able to uh, participate? And, uh, and came to surrounding a broken window. Who should fix a broken window? Is it Minister of Works and Supply? Who must come and sweep here outside ZNBC? Is it Minister of Works and Supply? Who must come and paint you know, the parking lots here at ZNBC? Is it Minister of Works and Supply? Is it the public who should do that? Now, if we buy into a good program like the one the President has launched, what we're going to see is that we, the workers here at ZNBC, uh, on that day, we are going to clean our area. We, the workers at Minister of Works and Supply, will do that. As a matter of fact, we have started doing that at Minister of Works and Supply, motivated by His Excellency, the President. Um, if that happens in the Minister of Agriculture, if that happens at the Minister of uh, uh, Lands, uh, everywhere, this place will change. But that should also be taken outside of government to our private homes to our private homes. If that happens, all our streets will become clean. That's and, true. And, and let me tell you, thing, it's a cultural issue. But that's true, but it's sounds unfortunate that the imposing structures are your structures. Well, the imposing structures, if you want to tell what the government building is like, you just, it's easy. Yeah. I have seen that. Uh, I have seen that. Uh, see what we did at government complex. We have a program. We'll be going to the Hero Stadium. We have a program. We'll be going to Mulungusha House. Uh, and we want to find solutions. Um, I, I, I've been in the ministry close to four months now, isn't it? Uh, by the time I'm there one year, two years, I must contribute. We won't finish the problems, but I must be able to contribute. And this is what I'm looking to do. So I, I have to be part of the solution. Uh, and the, the public must buy into this. The public must buy into this. The day the Zambian people will say we are now joining President Lungo, and we don't have to go where the president is. The president decides where he wants to undertake uh, that program. I, can, I also go elsewhere. Other, you, Franklin, and your team, you find your, 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 your family and others, you do work all over the place. This country is going to change. Let's, let's That's stick, my point. Let's stick to government of buildings, because... Yeah. Um, it, if what I gather from what your mandate is or your, your responsibility, yes. Yes. Um, this should be paining you more. But it government does, officers are not looking me. good. These are buildings me. that house some of the most educated Zambians yeah. uh, driving the, this economy mm -hmm. through their talent, yeah. professions, and all that. Yeah. But where they sit, the, their furniture, where it just dampens um, you when you, when, yeah, when you walk in there. It does. See, uh, one weekend I went to slash at government complex outside, you know, the, at the Freedom Statue. Um, uh, and the reason was that I was so annoyed when I went there. Uh, and there are public workers who work there, okay? But the blame for me is not only on public workers, it is also on the Zambians because that place cannot be left like that. Well, so the Zambians we are to going to say, we pay taxes for th somebody's responsible yes, for Yes, but for not doing for that. dumping. You, you, we pay taxes to receive service. You, we pay taxes so taxes can be invested into public service. We don't pay taxes to dump. We don't pay taxes to do all the, uh, the bad things that people do. Taxes are meant to facilitate service delivery.
you have maintenance companies yeah. around government buildings. Yeah, one. And you keep on, you, 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 there's, a, there are, there's a contract or yes, contracts. Yes, they, yeah. What they are you doing? Are they delivering? If they're not, what, what are you doing still keeping them? Well, the, 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 the company that I found, uh, has, the contract has finished and we, we have not renewed. We're bringing in a new person to come and help us uh, maintain government uh, complex. Uh, but that's not the only uh, um, building we have. We, they, they are numerous buildings, but the government complex attracted me because it houses so many ministers who are so important, even for attraction of you know, uh, investment. Uh, investors come to the complex, uh, diplomats come to the complex, and what they find is, is, is something terrible. So uh, this is why I was initially attracted to that. But the problem has to be solved across the nation. We need to solve this problem across the nation. And we have to put a strategy in place, uh, a working strategy. Mm. Yeah. So w w would we say that uh, sanity has been restored? Not, not completely. Uh, not completely. But uh, we are driving an agenda of information. We, we are driving an agenda of responsibility. Uh, and, and I think let's not underplay the presidential initiative. This is very important. My own thinking, and, and I could be limited or even totally wrong, is that that must send a message. Shouldn't if, you be enforcing it? Well, I, 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 kind of I, I don't. To you. Well, I, I don't have backing to do that. But we, I, I have started that program in my ministry. This after, uh, well. Uh, why would I say that? Uh, the, <laughs> the thing is that we, are, we, we have borrowed from the idea of His Excellency the President, and uh, we are doing that in the ministry. So I, I have seized the moment. And for my people in the ministry, we are happy with that. If you come to the Ministry of Waste and Supply, if you are there a few, you know, a few months back, you'll find a different place. Why? Because we have drawn inspiration. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope Somebody else may draw inspiration from the president, from what we are doing, and this thing, you know, goes viral. We clean our country. Mm. Yeah. Since you uh, removed vehicles that have been parked there for a long time, it, it seems that you've got a lot of space. Yeah, we what do. What money-making ventures uh, do you have, if at all, if anything? Um, clearly, people are looking for space to, not to dump, but to put their vehicles or to park or to yeah. keep sa for safety. Is there any plan that you have that will help you raise resources to be able to help out with the painting of buildings and maintenance of some of these public uh, uh, assets that are not looking very good at the moment? Okay. Um, the, excuse me. I, I'll tell you that uh, the, the mandate to raise revenue, uh, regardless of what form, uh, falls squarely on the Ministry of Finance. Uh, we, we, we are not thinking about raising uh, the maintenance fund uh, because what we do is apply the maintenance fund. Uh, we are a maintenance department. Um, we, we depend on uh, the, the, the Minister of Finance uh, to provide those resources. Are they but enough? It's ne the resources are never enough because the, the numerous competing needs yeah, uh, that has to be understood. So do you have enough? We, no, we, uh, we don't have enough resources, and this is, wh this is partly why some of, the, some of the buildings are not maintained, some of the houses are not maintained. It's partly because of uh, uh, lack of the sufficient resources. But yes, we, uh, we, we depend on the Ministry of Finance. Uh, now, do we raise um, non-tax revenue in the ministry? Yes, we do. Is it meant for maintenance? Of course not. Uh, for example, the pontoons that we run. Uh, they generate uh, a bit of revenue, isn't it? We do the valuation department when we, we, we value on a commercial basis, we generate revenue. Is that revenue meant for maintenance? No, it's not meant for maintenance. All of that goes to Control 99, and then we get uh, uh, appropriated amounts to, to, to direct towards... And this uh, assistant, this is, yeah. this is that's been there? Yes. That will be there? That, should, uh, that will be there until the entire system is changed. What is your ideal? What's your plan? What's, what's your suggestion? Well, I, <laughs> I plan very little about, uh, about uh, resource mobilization because that's not my mandate. Okay, that's a mandate that, of another minister. But how would you leave an imprint on how at, or some template which, if you know, hopefully you've been minister for, 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 for a long time, 
But if you left tomorrow, yeah. somebody must find some template that kind of spells out a plan to, you know, make the means of works and supply uh, relevant in changing the face of the of the city because everybody's looking at you for that particular change. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, uh, my idea is to be smarter. My idea is to be comprehensive, to have a good understanding of our situation. Uh, and later, uh, or is, uh, earlier on, you grilling me about my presence on the ground as a foot soldier. Uh, I have to have the ideas uh, from the base in order to create a plan which works. Okay? So my idea is to ensure that we develop a plan that works. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so far, I think we are drawing from the inspiration of His Excellency the President, who wants things to work everywhere. Um, uh, and we will make sure we put these plans in place and follow them through. But we'll be limited because we live in an environment uh, where there are competing needs. And you have to understand that even my time is competed for, right. isn't it? Uh, that means that uh, we have to maximize our contribution. That's my, that's, that, that's my thinking. We have to maximize our contribution by making sure everybody contributes to their maximum or level best. And this is what I would do. This is what the PS must do. This is what directors must do, managers and everybody. We, and we have to be very clear, send that message and begin to, uh, to make sure we assess performance as we go. The, 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 I can imagine there's a list of, I mean, you have a lot of uh, work. What is among the many important functions that you have to perform? What for you is, is major, is an, is an quote-unquote an emergency, is, is a must-do now to trigger change in the other expectations that might be on your shoulder? Okay. Um, the big thing for me, uh, I, I think I have a few. The big thing for me is to bring back the Minister of Works and Supply uh, to the respect it must uh, have. That's a big issue. You... You earlier said um, many people think this ministry is dead. Okay? So my main issue is to make sure we put in place uh, a plan that speaks to our mandate and be able to begin to seize uh, our mandate to contribute effectively uh, to the Zambian people. Uh, secondly, I want to keep the jobs for the workers of ESCO. Um, ESCO uh, is, uh, is a company that runs pontoons, and 90% of their revenue comes from Kazungula. Uh, now, there's a bridge being constructed along the Zambezi there. Uh, now, if you lose 90% of your revenue as a company, you are, you are gone, isn't it? Right. So, I don't want anybody to lose uh, their jobs in ESCO. So it's very important for me and my team to diversify the operations of SESCO, uh, ESCO so that ESCO can keep the jobs of the Zambian people who are working there. That, that can be a very, it, un, it's, a, it's an unsettling issue. It is unsettling. For, for, for ESCO workers. It is unsettling for ESCO workers, uh, and not only ESCO workers, but also those who depend directly on, the, uh, on those workers, and also for me as a person who is leading, isn't it? For my peers, for everybody else in the ministry, it's, it's quite unsettling. For government and for all well-wishers, because nobody wants to see people losing jobs. What we want to see is people uh, getting jobs, isn't it? So that's a big issue. Secondly, uh, or is it thirdly? Thirdly. I want to make sure that I don't disappoint His Excellency the President by failing to print ballot papers in 2021. Now that you bring up the issue of ballot papers, um, there's a lot of talk about government print printers being able to print, you know, uh, uh, locally, uh, you know, for for purposes of for purposes of elections. There've been expectations; it hasn't uh, happened yet. You're in record and having said, "Not now, but 2021." What will you use as a, as a, as a trial? Uh, or as a, or as a, as a, as a what you might call a guinea, a, guinea, a guinea pig for purposes of installing uh, or instilling confidence in the public that come 2021 uh, there will be no lapses, there will be no differences, uh, but some, you've got to show something that you're able to do it. 
Okay, the, uh, thank you very much, uh, Franklin. Uh, Franklin, the, the president may not tolerate me if I fail to print ballot papers in 2021 because he himself has understood very clearly how much it costs the country to take delegations out of the country to, for the purposes of, uh, you know, uh, assessing the systems there and then going to uh, load the, to verify all of those things and the transportation of ballot papers, yeah, inland transportation, uh, and above that, the actual purchase cost. The president wants uh, government to cut that cost. Uh, to to subs you know to cut it substantially uh, so that we we, we get gains uh, from that process. Now uh, I am on record to say that we are not ready now to print pilot uh, ballot papers, but in the due course we'll be able to do. What that. does that even mean? Well, it, it means that there's only two it, years. It, it means no, no. Uh, by elections may come anyway. <laughs> they, they may come anyway. L look, we don't hold our lives. Uh, even politicians don't hold their own lives. And and, and uh, as I've as, as I've shared elsewhere, I, I think people are changing. Uh, people change their political thinking and they cross the floor. When you cross, you no longer can sustain your position. And uh, and the by election is created, isn't it? So if we have an opportunity for a by election when we are ready. Uh, which I think won't be too long from now, uh, given uh, what we are doing. Uh, then we'll be able uh, to to print uh, the the but, pilot. But surely you're not going to wait for a by-election uh, before you give a semblance no, no, of no, no, what no. you're planning to do. No, no, no. The, the 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 thing I've said we want we are not ready to do now is to print a pilot, uh, and, and this is what I'm saying because uh, some some commentators have said. Uh, why don't we print, uh, the, the, and we're referring to the Sesheke by-elections, why don't we print the pilot now so that we assess your capacity? And I'm saying from where we stand now, we are not ready to do that because we haven't done what is necessary for us to be able to do that. But give us a few months, we should be able uh, to develop that capacity to be able to do a pilot. Uh, and just in case we are not able to do the pilot because there are no by-elections from the time we'll get ready, we will do demonstrations. We will invite you, the media, we will invite all stakeholders to come and see how we'll have developed that capacity and to, uh, to try and gain uh, confidence from the Zambian sure, public. Surely you can uh, put a timeline to that. Well, we can put a timeline. Um, I, 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 I just don't want to. But in the middle of this year, towards the end of this year, I'll be coming with more definite information and I think I'll be inviting, I'll be inviting stakeholders to come and see the progress we'll have made. Okay, so yes. this is not going to happen on a by-election. People will see these ballot papers and the, or the print before a major event. Well, it, it, uh, no, no, that's not the point. The point is that uh, we are not ready to do a, a by-election now. That's understandable. Now. But in terms of inviting stakeholders to start looking at what you intend to do yeah. surely this is the right time to start no, no, no. what we intend to do is clear we intend to revamp government printer and i don't need to invite stakeholders to come and see my intention i have to invite stakeholders to come and see the progress i've made i have already put clear what my intention is is to but be but don't able you need their buy-in don't you need the, the, the stakeholders? The buying is what we're doing now. Uh, they, they're not part of the, the, You're not giving them your intention, you just said. No, 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 said. the intentions. The, intention. the, the intentions are clear. We have said the president has directed ballot papers need to be printed here in Zambia for 2021. That's very clear. Now, my issue is that I have to do that. Uh, but should I, sh should I bring a roadmap? Uh, should I call in people for the roadmap? The roadmap that, I, that is internal? Of course no. But, but when we come to a place where we have made progress, sufficient progress, for people to come and see, for them to have confidence. But should, Every Zambian, that should be easy to do in terms of, purpose, for purposes of confidence. We, you should be able to say by November, um, you should see a sample. Surely. A, a sample that, of what? Uh, uh, of, uh, of the documents that people will use to participate or use it in, in, a, in an election. We're talking about but, ballot papers. Yes. We're talking um, about documents that bring mixed reactions every time. Whether it's can I, can I be clear? Mm -hmm. Can I be clear? Um, we should be able to call in the public uh, to see the progress we have made. 
towards achieving the goal of printing ballot papers for 2021 in the next few months. Now, are we ready? Yeah, because for, for us, as I'm saying, for us to show the public out there that we are going to be ready, at least we should do a by-election, isn't it? Uh, at least we print ballot papers for a by-election. Isn't, isn't that where the problem now, is? Because no, you're hold on, let me just, let me, let me just finish. No, 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 let me just, be, let me just finish. Because if we do a by-election um, and everybody is happy, people are going to say, uh, uh, government printers develop their capacity to do that. People are going to be happy. But the opposite can, could happen. The, op the opposite could happen if we fail to do the things which we need to do, uh, which we're not but, going but to do. But why testing on a major event? I mean, it no, might by, seem by like it's a smaller is, one. By, it, it, people are campaigning and spending money for a seat. You cannot water it down. It's an important no, 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 occasion. No, no, no. The pilot. A pilot. I'm, I'm using that word in view of the 2021. Well, that's true, but yeah. the by-election yes. is simply going to be grounds for controversy if people are not happy. Why would you risk that? The, the, you see, stakeholder buying is always important. Uh, and, and, and even before ECZ procures uh, ballot paper from us, uh, ECZ must be confident that we can do that. Okay, ECZ must be confident. But not only ECZ, political parties, PF, UPND, FDD, all political parties have to be confident that we can do this. And we have to make you know, buying programs for all stakeholders. The, our client, ECZ, as well as uh, our, uh, the other clients in political parties, they all have to be shown the competences. But why not now, do that before an, an event? That's what I'm saying. We will do that, but I hope we can also have the opportunity to do a pilot. on it. I, I hope we can have that opportunity. But if we don't have that opportunity, we'll, we'll still sell through. We, we, we'll still go through, walk through, and, uh, and you know, sell the, the competence. And I think Zambians will be able to say, you are ready. You can do this. This obviously, uh, and, and, and just to digress a little bit from, from what you, you, you do, by elections, um, and as minister, these issues of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 of national dialogue, which everybody is looking forward yeah. to, do you want to throw a, a, quick, a quick comment on that? People kind of losing confidence in the whole process. Well, I, I think, uh, I think the, the, the dialogue thing is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a complex matter. Uh, and, and I think this is why within the PF uh, the, there was um, a directive that uh, only very few people should talk about it. Uh, the SG, the vice president and the president. Uh, and I think from, from then on, uh, people don't make official pronouncements about it. Um, but as I have been able to follow the dialogue, I think this is something that arose after the 2016 general elections. We began to see uh, some opposition leaders uh, saying there's tension in the country. Uh, some, some people were actually saying there's no tension, uh, except tension on the faces of those who are actually alleging it. Yes, we saw tension on some faces, uh, that's okay. So the president then said, oh, okay, if there's tension, as it has been alleged, then let's dialogue, isn't it? What did we see? I, I think we saw uh, the ZCID um, having an initial meeting, where, which was followed by another meeting in Siavonga for Secretary Generals of Political Parties. Uh, and, and I think the country knows that from that a meeting in Siavonga, a communique uh, was established where four thematic areas of concern were established which uh, were going to be nodded by the summit of presidents and after that a technical committee formed which then uh, was going to look into details on those four areas. And the areas I think were around electoral reforms, uh, constitution, uh, constitutional reforms, uh, judicial reforms as well as civility in politics, isn't it? But along the way, uh, another issue was sneaked in, uh, which was uh, reconciliation. Now, when you look at all of these events, you, begin, you get confused because, uh, Franklin, if I have a problem with you, okay, if, if I have a problem with you, why should it take a national reconciliation? 
or a, for, for a problem between you and me to be sorted out. So a number of questions began to come and so on and so forth. Uh, the, we saw the president uh, at the PF secretariat when he, uh, I think he was invited by ZCID stopping the, uh, the, the, the um, constitutional amendments because ZCID dem, uh, requested him that uh, you stop this in order for it to be part of the dialogue and thereafter we can agree on, uh, on, on what amendments and so on and so forth. The president was magnanimous. He said, okay, uh, we'll stop it. And the Minister of Justice was instructed uh, to, to stop that process. What followed? Uh, what followed is that it's now seven months ever since that happened. But are the, Zamb are the Zambian people ready to wait until, uh, until they wait no more? No. Uh, and, and, and I think it's, uh, it's just in order that uh, the right things have to be done. Mm. Uh, and the president has said, I think go ahead and review the constitution because it's important for the Zambian people. Right. We can't be waiting for this process where ZCID and the church are going back and forth. They can't agree. But what is very, very important is to observe the stance of His Excellency the President. He has said his PF party and himself as a person, is ready to dialogue. But let these uh, people, the, these uh, structures, the ZCID and uh, the church, let them resolve their differences. Once well, they how, resolve how, their how long that takes? We'll, we'll it, it's not up to uh, either President Lungo or PF to determine. It's, it's, uh, it's the church and ZCID right. who resolve that problem. And right. uh, when they resolve, now this is the problem. This is why the issue of the constitutional review cannot wait because you never know how long this, you know, this back and forth. Uh, but you have heard the problem. I have, and this is why I've shared with you, even outside of mandate. Right. Yeah. Okay. This is I've shared with you. Honorable Minister, yes. on that uh, note of going away from what we started with, I want to thank you for coming to Sunday interview. Yes. And as Works uh, Minister, we wish you the very best of luck because it does look like you've got a lot of work to do. Thank you very much, Franklin. Thank you for having me. Uh, yes, we do have a lot of work, but we hope that we can contribute. Yeah. Minister of Works and uh, Supply, uh, Mototwe Kafwaya, our guest on Sunday interview for today. And until next time, thanks for joining us and goodbye.